Hello. <laughs> Hello, Anne. Good evening. How are you? I'm great. Wow, that's good to hear. What did you eat for dinner tonight? I eat chicken wing. Wow, I love the chicken wings. <laughs> who, cook, who cooked it? Your mom? Yes. Wow, that sounds so good. I love chicken wings as well. <laughs> okay, by the way, how's the weather today, Anne? It's raining. Oh, <laughs> here also this afternoon, it's raining. So it's not good. The weather's not good. All right, so today we will continue with your lesson because last night there was um, a power electricity shut down in my place so um today we will learn about animal families okay so and just like us okay you have family i have family also these animals they have family as well okay so for you to um learn more about animal families i want you to please watch this video do you have a backbone that's weird 95 percent of earth life does not you're called a vertebrate because of the spine you've got if there are five vertebrate classes some have warm blood and some have cold Some on land in the air or sea What are they called? Repeat after me Mammals Reptiles Birds Amphibians and fish Mammals Reptiles Birds Amphibians and fish most mammals don't come in eggs like all the others The babies drink milk from their mothers And we all have fur or hair on our soft skin We have cats, deer, platypus, kangaroos And you, fun fact, twills and bats are mammals too Birds are born from hard shelled eggs. We have beaks and feathers, but scales on our legs. Not all of us take to the sky, but most of us have hollow bones and most of us fly. Amphibians lead a double life in cold blood Our metamorphosis takes us from the water to the mud We start with gills, then we graduate to lungs Some of us catch food with our specialized tongues Some of us look like worms, and some of us are long And some of us are toads, but most of us are frogs Fish, fish, fish are the largest group of vertebrates And we've been around much longer Scales and fins, we're ectothermic, and we lay our eggs in the water. And guess what? A jellyfish is not a fish because it doesn't have a backbone. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> okay, there you go. Okay, so that's just um. A, a song about the animal families. So as you can see, you, you heard there, we have mammals, reptiles, birds, insects. They have like amphibians and fish as well. Okay, so in here, they just have like four animal families. 
Okay, so since we're finished about this one, let us um, look at this one. Okay, here, I want you to look at this one, Anne. So when we say mammals, these are animals that have hair. Okay, have warm blood and also their babies drink milk from them. So that's mammals. They have hair just like us because we are mammals too. Okay, we have warm blood and babies drink milk from the mother. Okay, is it clear? That, for example, mouse and bear, that's mammal. Dog, cat, that's mammals. Is it clear? Yes. Okay, so again, animals that have hair, have warm blood, and their babies drink milk from them, that's mammals. Mammals don't lay eggs. Okay. All right, how about reptiles? So when we say reptiles, oh no, let's talk about birds first. So birds, they lay eggs, have feathers and can often fly. So an owl is a bird, duck is a bird as well. Even chicken, chicken is a bird. Bird belongs to bird family because they lay eggs, they have feathers, and they can often fly. Clear? Okay, so again, we have here mammals, birds. Next, we have the reptiles. So reptiles, they have scales, but they don't, but they are not fish. Okay, remember that. They have scales have cold blood, they lay eggs as well, just like crocodile and lizard, air reptiles. Okay. okay. And insects, when we say insects, oops, sorry. Insects, they lay eggs have cold blood and they only have six legs okay, if it's if it has eight legs it's not an insect okay can you please write this one first and the different animal family we have mammal birds reptiles and insects Please write that one in your notebook so that you can remember later on the different animal families. <laughs> Again, what's this? Mam Mammals. Mammals. Birds. Birds. Reptiles. Reptiles. Reptile. And insects. Okay, and insects. There you go. So as you can see, these are just some of examples of the different animals that belong to this kind of family. Again, remember if the animal have hair or fur, that's always a mammal. Okay. Okay. All right. Do you have question about this one? No. No. All right. Now let's try to think. Okay, wait, please. Here. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, this is just a project. Okay, let's try to look at the picture here. I mean, um, can you give me an animal that belongs to mammal family? 
Can you give me an animal that belongs to mammal family? Again, mammal, when you say mammal, they have hair. <coughs> Sorry. Sorry. When you say mammal, they have hair and their babies drink milk from their mom. Can you give me an animal? Mm. Uh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of mammals. There's a lot of mammals. The cat. Oh, yes, that's right. Cat. Cat. Cat have hair and the babies drink milk from the mom, from the mother cat. Okay, what else? Dog. Dog. A dog. Yes. <laughs> yes, that's right. Dog is a mammal. Okay, very good. Give me one more. One longer. Uh... Hmm? She didn't think of it. <laughs> uh, it's I okay. No idea. Oh, how about um when we say kangaroo? Kangaroo is a mammal. <laughs> okay. How about birds? Can you give me Animals that belong to birds family. Uh, a chicken. Yes, that's right. What else? Uh, <coughs> Sorry. Oh, it's all right. <laughs> we have chicken or we also have um, eagle. Okay, how about insects? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yes, butterfly. It's an insect. That's right. A ladybug? Ladybug? Mm -hmm, that's yeah. right. That's okay. right. Oh, sorry. So. Yes, that's right. No, 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 no. How about reptiles? Again, they have scales have cold blood, and they also lay eggs. A crocodile, yeah. Yes, cro crocodile and lizard. Oh, yeah. yeah. A lizard? Yes, lizard. <coughs> Sorry, lizard as well. Okay, so again, <laughs> do you have a question about these an fam animal families and? No, okay. So again, that's just um, some of the uh, animal families and their group. Okay, now here, oh, what's this? Here, I want you to listen and imagine, then try to draw your picture. Can you get a pen and 
paper. Let's draw something. <laughs> Let's try to draw something. Okay, if you're ready, tell me you're ready. Ready? Yes. Okay, here, I want you to listen and imagine. Students' book, page 32. One. Listen and imagine. Then draw your picture. Imagine you are in the jungle. Listen to all those strange noises. There are birds. And insects. Was that a lion? And what was that? What a beautiful place. Suddenly, you see something. What is it? A bird? An insect? A mammal? It's different. Is it half animal and half bird? Is it half reptile and half mammal? What a strange animal. Draw it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there you go. So, this is the end of CD1. And of CD1. Okay, so look at their drawing and it's half bear and half mouse. <laughs> It climbed trees. It's small and brown. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, I'm not really feeling well. And it likes cheese and honey. While the other animal, it's half lion and half crocodile. It's very beautiful. It's yellow and green. It likes parrots for breakfast and frogs for lunch. Okay, so what did you draw there? What animal did you draw? The lion had, it had um, crocodile. Uh-huh. <laughs> half lion and half crocodile. Um. A crocodile half with a croc a lion uh, at the body of the lion and the head of the lion and the and the leg of the chick and <laughs> of um monster what <laughs> I don't even know. wow okay so thank you so much for drawing your animal okay so thank you for doing your best and very good. <laughs> Great job. Okay, so again, that's it for CD. CD1. Okay, now here, let's continue to this one. Our new lesson is about where we live. Oh, where do you live, Anne? Where do you live? I live in Hanoi. You live in Hanoi. <laughs> Okay, now here, let's try to listen and look to this one, then say the words. Unit 3. Where we live. Students' book, page 34. 1. Listen and look. Then listen and say the words. Wow! It's great up here! I can see the school! Look! Over there! 
Now say the words. One. Playground. Two. Playground. Cinema. Three. Swimming pool. Swimming pool. Four. Park. Five. Park. Hospital. Six. Bus stop. Seven. Bus stop. Shop. Shop. Eight. Street. Nine. Cafe. Ten. Cafe. Train station. Train station. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, so there you go, Anne. These are the places where we live. We can see this one where we live. Okay, what is this number one? Playground. Okay, this is the playground. Very good. How about this one? Cinema. Okay, cinema. Swimming pool. Okay, swimming pool. What's that? Uh, okay, park. Uh, What's that? Hospital. Okay, hospital. Hospital. Mm -hmm. This one. Okay, it's the bus stop. Shop. Okay, shop. What's this? Um, it's the street. <laughs> it's, it's the street. Okay, and this is cafe. Okay, cafe. And what's that? <laughs> it's the train station. All right, so there you go. So these are the, this is the next adventure of the Super Friends. Okay, but before we go through with that, let me first ask you, um, do you have playground near your place? Hmm? Yes. Wow, do you play in the playground? Yes. No? Yes? Yes. Oh, how about cinema? Um, she never have been there too. Yeah. Do you have cinema near your place? Yeah, but we have never been there. Oh. Actually, I have never been there, but I have been there with my friends. Oh, I see. Oh, I think here in the Philippines, cinemas are still closed because of COVID. So I haven't seen cinema for like um, how many years already? So cinema, you can see a movie in a big screen, like big TV. <laughs> 
you can see movie in the big screen. Okay, how about swimming pool, Anne? Yes. Yes. Park as well. I think you have park. How about bus stop? Do you have bus stop? No. no. How about train station? No. Do you have train station? No. Oh, I see. Okay. How about cafe? Yes. Yes. Street? Yes. Yes. And shop? Yes. Yes. Okay. So these are the common places that we can see uh, um, around our town where we live. Okay, so here I want you to please listen to this one and chat. Students book, page 34. Two, listen and chant. Can you see the shop? Yes, we can. Can you see the bus stop? Yes, we can. Shop, street, park and pool. Looking from up here is really cool. Can you see the school? Yes, we can. Can you see the pool? Yes, we can. Shop, street, park and pool. Looking from up here is really cool. <laughs> okay, there you go. So look at the four of them. They're looking from up the hill. They can see their school. They can see the bus stop, the shop, street, park, and pool. Because they're on top, okay, on top of a hill. All right, so since it's time already, Anne, in your next class on Monday, we will continue talking about where we live. Okay, so we'll talk more about park and everything that you can see in your house or in your place. Okay? Okay. Do you have questions? No. Do you have questions? No. No. No? Okay, so thank you, and I'll see you again in our next class. Goodbye and good night. Bye. Bye. Bye.